Hi guys, Vanessa here. Welcome to my channel. I like to do all things creative photography related and today I am taking a fantasy styled self portrait. I'm going to be going over how I came up with the theme, the pose, the concept by sources of inspiration and show you how I pull it all together. So actually the very first little inkling of inspiration that I got was that my front lawn hasn't been cut in a little while. So it's a little bit shaggy and it's got these little tiny white flowers in it. And I really, really think that it's super delicate and pretty. So I wanted to shoot in my front lawn before the grass gets cut again. So once I knew that I went on to Instagram and I went into my saved images and I start scrolling through looking for any other like things that maybe I want to incorporate. My favorite place to go for inspiration is not actually photography accounts. I follow a lot of painters and a lot of illustrators. So when I came across an image I saved by Seb McKinnon, I'll have his Instagram linked below. He's a fantasy painter, illustrator. He also does some like film stuff if you've ever seen Kin Fables. Um, if you're a fantasy fan at all, I highly suggest you follow him and all of his related accounts because everything he does is like fantasy gold. It's just so perfect in every way. Now I don't like copying people by any means and that's why when I look for inspiration I'm really looking for just kind of one element or one piece that I want to use and so for this particular image it was just the idea that the image was shot from above and the person is laying on the ground below in the center. I myself has, have done this exact same pose out the exact same window in the exact same spot before but I don't know, for some reason, when I just see somebody else do it, it's more inspiring than looking at my old work. <laughs> so I decided that this was the best pose to get the most of the grass in the image. And so that is how I now have decided to have the green grass and the pose from above. And then the next thing that I really needed to plan was the outfit, which I just decided to go really hard on the green and make green kind of like a theme. I, green's my favorite color. I'm in a phase where I just wanna have like lots of green. So when I'm making an image that is primarily one color, one thing that I like to do to make it a little bit more interesting is just to have a lot of texture. So the grass is a texture, my dress has got a little bit of a texture, but it's not much, so it might look a little bit blocky. And then I also have a piece of fabric to kind of like have flowing around. And the idea for the flowing fabric came from another artist who is a fantasy illustrator and that is the work of Arthur Rackham. Now this is like older work. So Seb is more contemporary and Arthur Rackham is like vintage. I'm not even entirely sure. I'm gonna guess like really vintage, maybe the twenties or something. I'll have to look into it. So in those images, there are lots of flowy dresses with lots of luscious fabrics and folds and creases. Nothing is tight or slim fitting. It's all very full and flowing. And so I really wanted to pull out just some fabric that hasn't been sewn into anything that I can like have laying around or strewn about or drape it however I feel like I want to have it draped. And so that was really where the inspiration came to have lots of fabric in the image. And the rest of the details, like my hair and stuff like that, was just kind of last minute playing around with things and trying to see what I could do to make it a little bit more interesting. Because like I said, when you have just kind of one color, you're going to want to have interest in some way. So I'm bringing that in with the texture and the elements that I'm using. I was originally just going to have my hair down like I do for most images, but I thought that was a little bit boring. So I decided to play with it a little bit and I pulled some fake leaves and some fake plant things and just started fiddling with them. I ended up with like a wreath type circle of these that I put on my head and I still wasn't happy and then I ended up pulling my hair up messily around it and I kind of liked how it looked very fairy-ish. And to finish it off, I decided to tuck in some extra leaves on the side and 
it's messy, especially in the back it's all screwed up, but since the I already know that the pose is going to be me lying down, it doesn't really matter what the back of my hair looks like, so it's going to work. The dress I chose because it is green, I have quite a few dresses that I could have picked, but I think this one's just maybe my favorite. I like the collar, the neck part. And it is really low in the back, but again, it doesn't really matter if my bra strap is showing in the very back because that's the side that is not going to be shown. So I don't have to worry too much about that. I even kept my pants on underneath just because it's a little bit chilly today, which is great because there's cloud coverage and the lighting is nice, but um, it'll help keep me warm. My makeup is really simple. I don't even really enjoy doing makeup for photos. A lot of the times I don't even bother. Um, today I just put a little bit of like cover up on some blemishes, which doesn't really matter because I'm just gonna take them out in Photoshop anyways, and some eyeliner and mascara. And that's fine. I don't really think of fairies as having like tons of makeup anyways. You see lots of fantasy fairy looks and they're cool, but I also like the really toned down look as well. So it could go either way, but this is the way that I wanted to go for this particular image. Okay, so my last little piece of inspiration was really like, okay, so what's the theme of this image? What does this represent? And recently somebody told me that some of my recent work looks a lot like oracle cards. And so oracle cards are like tarot cards, but they're more like, whatever the creator wants them to be. They don't follow a set standard, the traditional tarot meanings or anything. So already having that in the back of my mind, I've been listening to this like music playlist on YouTube when I work out and it's by Nefex, which is like really upbeat, rap kind of music like it's nothing that you would expect me to listen to but it's really upbeat and the lyrics are actually like really um inspiring <laughs> in some ways and a lot of the songs are just titled kind of like um i don't even i can't even think of one off the top of my head but they're like one or two words and they're kind of just like concepts so that was really kind of where I was like, oh, well, I could like just literally use these rap titles and make them into oracle cards. Cause kind of one of them was like, maybe like light it up. And then I could do an image with lots of light. It's just these kind of generic themes. And then I was like, well, I really want to do that in my images. So while this one is not entirely like an actual title from one of those rap songs, it is kind of along the same lines. And I decided to go with like a, slumber theme so it's going to be restful and looking like maybe i'm sleeping which makes sense because i'm lying down and also the green is going to kind of be representing like growth and healing that you can get when you sleep so i have my camera in this window here ready to go and i'm just going to start by taking a few test shots to see if the lens is wide enough to get my whole body or if i need to change it and then check any of the lighting settings or anything that I need to change before I really commit to lying down and posing and stuff. Okay, so what I learned from that was that when I am laying this way, the camera is like shooting right at my chin and it's not very flattering. So now I know to lay the other way. The other thing that I wanna mention and I've changed this on my camera a long time ago because I'm always doing self portraits is that you want to make sure that your camera doesn't have a turn off after like 60 seconds or anything like that because if you're coming up and down from like in your house to out to your front yard it's gonna need to stay on long enough so make sure that you go into your settings and make it so that your camera stays on long enough for you to be able to get around and do your thing another tip that i have for you guys if you're going to be laying down in long grass especially if it is not your yard and it is a park or something please check for animal waste. I've had a lot of photographer mishap adventures and I don't want that to be one of them <laughs> and I don't want that to be one of yours too so keep that in mind. So I checked out the images and they're looking pretty good. The only issue is that the side where my head is is a little bit darker just because of the way that the light is falling and the house is creating a little bit more shade on that side but it's not a big deal it's something that I can fix in Photoshop so I am going to just go with that. 
I also took a couple blank shots of just the fabric laying in the grass because I like to make my images more square and I want to expand the frame a little bit so I got a couple of the pictures of that and then I can add some more fabric in Photoshop as well and have some options for that. For the Photoshop edit, the plan is to expand the frame and make the image a little bit larger around my body and maybe play a little bit with the pieces of fabric and add some pieces in or maybe not. I'll decide after I take a look and play around a little bit in Photoshop if I want more fabric or not. Other than that, I'm going to be doing some very light skin retouching on just a couple little spots and then dodge and burn. I'll probably finish the image off by doing some color adjustments. I like to use the selective color sliders. I'll probably pull out some of the yellow and make the greens just a touch more blue depending on how they look. Um, I want it to match the dress more which is not a very yellow green so I might be adjusting the grass a little bit and maybe even my skin tone a little bit to get a, a cooler toned image. I hope you guys liked today's video. If there's one thing that I really want you to take away from watching this video, it is to look at unconventional sources and multiple sources for inspiration. So don't feel like you can't use random rap music to inspire your images go for it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified as soon as I release another video. In the meantime, check out my self-portrait series.